The Traveler in Black Black by John John Brunner, 1971. 1971. The 33rd book in the Ace Science Fiction Specials Series 1. This book collects four novellas by John Brunner. The man in black wore a dark hood and carried a staff of light. He had many names, but only one nature. Let's take a moment to appreciate Leo and Diane Dillon. For 33 straight books, they have provided the illustrations for the Ace Science Fiction Specials Series 1. The illustration for The Traveler in Black is striking. The Traveler in Black, wearing a hooded cape, wielding the light of his staff, the spectrum of colors, and how he wields them through his hand. This memorable Dylan cover greatly enhances the story within. John Brunner crafts short and long stories of fantasy, or perhaps fable. The world of the black traveler is in chaos. His one nature to bring order to chaos. As he journeys, he meets people. Often he hears of their troubles and their wishes. He grants their dearest wish, saying, As you wish, so be it. But these wishes play out in a manner unexpected. In the rich city of Greit, a thief spoke to curse the briefness of the summer night, which had cut short his plan to break the wall of a merchant's counting house. Oh, that dawn never overtook me, he cried. Oh, that I had lasting darkness, whereby to ply my trade. As you wish, said the traveler, so be it. And darkness came, two thick gray cataracts that shut the light away. A second story. A swaggering bully came down the street on market day, cuffing aside children with the back of his hand and housewives with the flat of his sword. Oh, that my way were not cluttered with such riff-raft, he exclaimed, his shoulder butting into the traveler's chest. As you wish, so be it, said the traveler, and when the bully turned the corner, the street he walked upon was empty under a leaden sky, and the buildings on either side, and the taverns and the shops. Nor did he again, in all eternity, have to push aside the riff-raft he had cursed. He was alone. The traveler is often saddened to grant these wishes. But these wishes do bring order to chaos in this realm. There are four novellas in this fix-up novel. Later editions include a fifth novella. We meet the traveler and learn of his mission in the first story. Often we have some short asides dealing with people their troubles, and their wishes. In the crafting of the bigger story within the novella, we often see these smaller wishes play out. In some ways, the traveler is the trickster of myth. But his tricks always relate to that which is wished. Be careful what you wish for. Brunner has a range of writing. Stand on Zanzibar is his most famous work, an SF novel about overpopulation. He is quite prolific. He writes many novellas and short novels, often science fiction. But as with some other writers in the 60s, he's also comfortable in the realm of fantasy. The Traveler in Black is a cosmic, moral, ethical tale. You reap what you sow. Be careful what you wish for. As you wish, so be it. Beautiful writing enhances these tales which turn upon themselves. I give The Traveler in Black 7 out of 10. What are some of your favorite works of John Brunner? Have you read The Traveler in Black? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, as you wish, so be it.